Hey yo, what is up? You might have heard the news. Two tanks have been buffed in Super Test. The first one being this one, the Tier 10 Project KPZ-07 Prototype Experimental, whatever you want to call it. This German Tier 10 Heavy Tank, uh, I did um make a video about this tank about a week ago and i was a little bit excited about this tank uh, because of the way it looks it looks absolutely phenomenal uh, but i was a little bit disappointed about the stats and wargaming have come through they have buffed this tank in the damage per minute which means the reload time was buffed from 12 seconds they've cut it down to 10.45 seconds this is what i would call in the chieftain territory i really want this to be the chieftain i really wish this tank was going to be as competitive as the chieftain uh, i really want a lot more tanks that are going to be as competitive as the chieftain uh, because that would make the tank more desirable and that would make people uh, play a lot more other tanks other than the Chieftain. Uh, but here we go. From 12 seconds to 10.45 seconds, this brings the rate of fire uh, up for the average DPM from 2100 to 2411. Uh, they have also improved the dispersion uh, on the move. The moving dispersions was 0 0.25. It is now 0 0.25. Two, two moving dispersions and uh, the rotation uh, dispersions as well from 0 0.25 to 0 0.22 a very slight um, improvement on the moving dispersions and to be honest with you with a 0 0.22 dispersion you're still gonna need to run a um, vertical stabilizer so uh, in my opinion, you're definitely going to have to run a rammer and a vertical stabilizer to help out with this gun. Uh, maybe you could run a vertical stabilizer with the turbo, um, you know, the new experimental equipment uh, with the turbo and vertical stabilizer. Maybe that would help. That would leave you a third option, uh, a third slot available for you to put a hardening, perhaps. So we're looking at hardening, rammer, and a vertical stabilizer or a vertical stabilizer experimental equipment that is combined with a turbo and that will make this tank really good however um the downside is still um the armor it does not have turret armor like a chieftain i think a chieftain has 350 frontal turret armor this thing still has 140 frontal turret armor so even in a good hull down situation uh even with its sloped armor which looks a little bit like a leopard prototype uh frontally the frontal armor but uh the frontal turret armor i mean it is still not going to withstand uh, most heavy tanks uh high penetration uh you know 190 millimeters of frontal sloped armor is good but it's not going to be chieftain good so uh, the next step is i hope they do buff the frontal armor just a little bit more make it closer to a chieftain i mean maybe not 350 but maybe 280 maybe 300 i don't know um but this is what i think why uh because i think uh this german heavy tank in tier 10 could be a rival or maybe almost as good as a chieftain and make it desirable make people want to actually play this tank i i really do hope it happens because it is a really sexy tank and i'm really rooting for this tank i want this tank to be successful i want this tank to be the focus of attention in tier 10s now the next tank that is being buffed is this one the TITT now the TITT I also made a video about this tank uh, more than a week ago probably about two three weeks ago uh, or maybe even a month ago uh, this tank was very interesting in my opinion but this tank has received a lot of changes now I've also been quite excited about this tank and uh, one of the reasons why I'm excited is because it is a tier 8 premium and from now it is buffed with even more hit points from 1200 hit points to 1400 hit points uh, this is a weird looking tank uh, you know it's got tits as its name so it's kind of cool uh, the the uh, hit points 
200 points extra, 200 extra hit points, engine power from 520 to 600 horsepower, um, the weight of this tank from 48 tons reduced to 40 tons, so it's going to be a lighter tank, um, more horsepower, more hit points, uh, the power to weight ratio was really really slow uh, it was 10.68 now it's 15 uh, power to weight ratio which makes it have a lot more agility now remember this tank is already in the game files uh, if you go look at your game files uh, it is already in there in 1.20 so they're gonna change this in the next update when the new update comes up this new stats will be incorporated into the next patch which is going to be 1.20.2 or whatever the next patch is going to be uh, but anyway the mobility however the, or the hull rotation speed has been nerfed from 40s it was supposed to be really agile in terms of hull rotation but from 47 it is reduced to 31 so 31 degrees per second so a bit slower hull rotation but you're getting more power to weight ratio you're getting a lighter tank you're getting better agility in my opinion a better speed but less hull agility but more forward and reverse speeds more pickup speed uh, if that makes sense to you the hull armor also improved slightly from uh, five millimeters from 150 frontal sloped armor now it is 120 millimeters uh, that is the new plan anyway the damage as well it was supposed to be a 280 alpha damage now it is a 200 alpha damage the he still maintains 280 alpha damage but um the standard ap and the standard apcr shell uh, and apcr premium shells are going to be only 200 damage which for a tier 8 isn't that great because even a t44 100 is 250 damage so i wish they would improve this a little bit better um the penetration for the standard shells reduced from 220 down to 212 and the premium has been improved from 235 penetration to 242 penetration uh, that's what's changed the reload time from 4.3 seconds now it is nerfed down to 4.6 seconds however the accuracy from 0.36 now it is 0.33 so that is all the changes that i have for you with these two tanks i like both the changes but i wish they improve the alpha damage instead of 200 please at least 250 for this gun anyway hope you enjoyed this video and took some useful information as you prepare prepare to receive this tank in the next um next uh, update of the game see you on the next video bye, -bye.